to remove the or to extend the background that we have here in this image. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image with my content aware bar. As you can see, the marching ants are around our subject. What I want to do is I want to kind of make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to grab my lasso tool. I'm going to hold my shift key down. I am using a Macintosh and I'm going to just drag this out this way. Get all the arm, come underneath and come back up. Because what I'm trying to do is get this to be a solid area. So now that we have her selected, I want to go up to selection, modify, expand, and I usually do 30 pixels. As you can see, it will expand the marching ants about 30 pixels out. So now we have her done. I am going to come down here to the content aware bar and I'm going to invert that selection. And as you can see, it is now going all around the image. Come down here to generative fill and I'm just going to type in studio background and let's see if it'll do it. And just wait while it generates. And there it is. So it doesn't do a bad job. That's the first image I gave you. And that's pretty, that line is pretty easy to take out. Um, it also gave me this one, which is very interesting because it is a studio. Uh, so generative AI kind of has a mind of its own, but we can always regenerate. And I may need to use a different keyword here. So let's see what this set comes up as. Not bad. Look at that. Not too shabby. Something's going on up here in her head, I think. Let me take a look up here. Oh, no, not really. I mean, it's kind of kind of weird. Does some weird stuff. But as you can see, it's getting close. So, oh, that's pretty wild. Let's take a look at that. Again, it thinks it's a studio. This is not a bad image. I'm kind of digging that. So I'm going to save that image as um, the generative fill image. What I'm going to do, now that I have it, I'm going to create both those layers, Command Option Shift E is going to create the merge those two layers together above. So I can come in here and start doing some cleanup. So I'm going to come back down to the background image and I'm going to come in, get rid of these, tink, tink. See her head here. I'm going to come in right here. I am going to just marquee her head. Select it, Whoop. command J to bring it to another level. And when it come back up top here, let's see what happens. Kind of fills in her head better. So we got rid of the thing that was there. A little bit of cleanup to do. So I am going to um, merge all those layers together, back out a little bit. Whoops. And you can see there's a little bit of stuff here we got to clean up. Not a lot, but it's way easier to do it that way than to try to take a clone tool and, and get rid of all that stuff, I think. So I'll grab my spot healing brush, make it a little bigger, kind of come in here and grab some things and pull them out. And let's see, I'll go up to the top here, get rid of this. You could still see a little bit of the box around the top there, so I'm going to kind of go in and blend that in a little bit. Oh, now it's pretty good. So not too shabby. Got her head back in position, got everything there, and that is a very quick way to get rid of your background in Adobe Photoshop.